Okay, I'm going to document how I um, re-grease the, uh, the hubs on my wire wheels. It should be done every year. And uh, I'm going to do it the way Hendrix Wire Wheels, who uh, sold me the tires and is a friend of mine, told me how to, how to do this. So, uh, first thing I do is I jack the... This isn't what Hendrix told me, this is something I learned from experience. I jack the wheel up off the ground. I found on my Spitfire with wire wheels that it actually, if you load the hub, uh, if you load the hub with the weight of the car on, it can be next to near impossible to take these wire wheels off. So if you unload the hub, um, it makes it easier. Now, second thing is um, I'm using my uh, high-tech uh, tools here. I'm, I use a hammer and a piece of 2 by 4 uh, for, to knock my uh, wire wheels off. I, I have a lead hammer, I have all that, but I found I just do it this way because it's easier and a 2x4 can be replaced. So I just set the, uh, if you have the octagonal ones you can't do this, but uh, set a piece of 2x4 on there. And whack it. And uh, off she comes. Set this aside. Now I don't remember if I uh, if I did this or not, and I'm, I'm, I'm so I'm just being extra careful. Now, uh, what you normally would do is clean this really, really well. Adjust, uh, examine the tapers here to see if they still got their. Uh, proper proper kind of squared edge points on them and you examine the one on the on the tire wheel as well uh, to make sure it, while you're doing this um, I, these these are almost brand new uh, so uh, they're not a problem now I'm just gonna wipe it off with a uh, yeah this has been greased already but I'm gonna re-grease it just to make sure I you know, it's one of those things where I didn't write it down on my whiteboard, so I'm not sure. But normally I would clean this off all really, really well with, um, with my favorite degreaser. Get it all clean, do the same thing with the wheel, um, and then re-grease it. So I use uh, mobile, mobile One grease, uh, no particular reason other than um, uh, I use it for everything. That way I don't have to remember what grease went on what. Now to grease it, you you put grease, you put more grease than what you need. And you don't need a lot, but you put more than what you need, and focus on these uh, splines here. Um, you do not want to grease this piece, this taper here. You, that that doesn't get grease, or more than just a, the thinnest, the thinnest, thinnest film. You don't want a lot on there. Um, now while you're doing this too, you don't want to touch your rotor. You don't want to get grease on your rotor. So we're going to go ahead and, and grease this up. Put more grease on it than it needs. Again, not touching the rotor. And we're about done here. I put just a little smear on the threads, just around the outside edge. You don't want to load that up, but I just put a, the tiniest smear. Then I, I just take and uh, I run my finger on that thread once. That's all going to get wiped off again, but I, I want a thin, the thinnest film on there possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of wipe it around and, and wipe it off. Um, so there we go. Okay, so I put the, I put grease on there. Now I've watched Hendrix Wire Wheel do it. They dollop it on. I mean, he puts it on like a half inch thick, and and it gets grease all over the place. But you're just going to wipe it off anyway. So what's the point in that? I think. Um, so then we go ahead and we take our wheel, we put it back on, and seat it, and we take it back off. Okay, now that we've done that. We spread grease everywhere. We go ahead and wipe off this taper right here. Just wipe that off. I don't. You don't get it spotless. You can leave a little 
the tiniest film on that. But uh, you just wipe that off, leave the rest of it on there. And then on the wheel, on the wheel, we do the same thing. We wipe off just the taper, get that extra gre excess grease off of there, off of that taper. Then we're ready to go. We'll go ahead and put that back on. And when you want to do this once once a year. I do it uh, I do an annual tune up whether it needs it or not. I don't put a lot of miles on this. Uh, do an annual tune up, annual oil change, all that kind of stuff. And I do this at the same time as part of my routine. I also grease everything. Okay, so to tighten this thing, notice I am not using, um, I'm not putting it back down on the ground. Not, you don't need to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take my, take my high dollar tool here. Smack it. And what you do, just keep hitting it till it quits moving. tight. There, that quit moving. When I first started doing this, I wasn't confident of it. And uh, I would take a magic marker and put a mark here and a mark here and watch the two marks. Uh, watch the two marks with respect to each other um, like that. Uh, but after, after doing it for a while, I got the feel of it. And uh, you can actually feel it when it's done. If you have, make sure you have the right side on the right side of the car, left side on the left side of the car. And if you have that right, it should tighten itself anyway. But anyway, that's how Hendrick's Wire Wheel taught me to, uh, to uh, uh, regrease wire wheels. And um, this bit about taking it off the ground is my own uh, addition to that.